It was Miffy's birthday, and her mother had baked a beautiful chocolate cake. She had set the table with party hats and colourful napkins, and had hung the birthday decorations all around their little house. It was already twelve o'clock, and no one had come to the party. Miffy wondered if anyone would come. She looked out of her window but couldn't see anybody coming. Where is everyone? She asked her mother. We sent invitations to all your friends, Miffy said her mother. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Just then, the doorbell rang. There was Miffy's friend Aggie. She was carrying a beautifully wrapped present for Miffy. Oh, hello, Aggie," said Miffy. "You're the first to arrive. What a lovely-looking present! I wonder what it is. You must wait until everyone is here, Miffy," said Aggie, "and then you can open all your presents." Just then, the doorbell rang again. There were all the rest of Miffy's friends. There was Poppy Pig, Grunty, Boris Bear, and Barbara. They were all carrying mysterious presents. Before we open the presents. Let's all have some birthday cake and ice cream," said Mother Bunny. They all agreed. Miffy was wondering what was in all those pretty packages. As soon as they had finished the sweets, the cake, and the ice cream, Aggie said, "Now you can open my present first." Miffy quickly opened her present. There was a lovely book, and also a wooden plank. This is a beautiful book," said Miffy. "But what is the plank for?" "You'll see," Miffy said. Aggie, Poppy Pig said, "Now you can open the presents from Grunty and me." Miffy was surprised to find two more books and two more wooden planks. Barbara's present was also a book and two planks. This is really funny," said Miffy. "I can read the books, but what can I do with these planks?" "Well, you'll just have to open the present from me," said Boris Bear, "and then you will see." The present from Boris was only an envelope, but when Miffy opened it, she understood the joke. Inside was a drawing of a bookshelf. We'll all help you put it together. Soon Miffy had a beautiful bookshelf. All the planks fitted together perfectly. It's just what I needed," said Miffy happily. "Now I have more space for all my books and toys. Thank you all for the wonderful surprise." Soon it was finished,、yeah. and it was beautiful. Miffy ran outside and called, "Snuffy, Snuffy, happy birthday! Come and get your present!" She shouted.
When Snuffy saw the beautiful little bowl with her picture on it, she wagged her tail and jumped for joy. She was so happy to have such a lovely birthday present. Miffy was happy too, because she painted the bowl all by herself. She took a watering can and filled the bowl with fresh water. Snuffy drank the water from her new bowl and had a very happy birthday.